One of the things that's pretty much without dispute is that the immune system plays a big role in the prevention of disease. As a matter of fact, the immune system is really your first line of defense against pathogens, against the bad guys that come in and try to invade your body and make you sick. So cancer, first and foremost, is a problem with the immune system. It's, you cannot have cancer if you have an intact immune system. One of the things that I do is I begin to unimpede their immune system because every cancer patient, their immune system has missed the cancer. So it has missed it. And so you have to unimpede their immune system and then you have to stimulate it back into action. With all our patients, whether it's cancer or any kind of chronic disease, it's always about lowering inflammation and improving and increasing immune system response. Because your immune system has to fight, fix, and repair against anything. It'd be, it'd be logical to argue that in an intact immune system, there would be no room for cancer. The immune system can do its job, sur surveil for foreign substances and foreign bodies and get rid of that. And you know, it can keep cancer at bay. So when the immune system gets disrupted, I think that's when bad things start happening to mm. us. Many people, and I'm one of them, see cancer as basically a disease of the immune system. Especially in our modern world, I don't think there's any way you're going to stop cells firing off and going wrong and turning into rogue cells. There's just too many toxins. But a good immune system will pick them up very quickly and eliminate them. So in a very strong sense, cancer is a disease of the immune system. Mm. So you want to do everything in your power to help the immune system. That means, you know, the right kind of nutrients that will help it. It also means removing the stresses that will prop stop it working. Antibiotics, right? Antibiotics can't cure anything. They can bring down the number, right, the cell count, such that then your immune system can take over. But it's your immune system that does the curing. We have to understand that the thing that cures cancer is your immune system. See, what most people don't realize is all of us have cancer cells. We're all developing them every single day. Typically, our immune system would hunt them down and regulate them. However, when we've got immune deficiencies, which is another problem with sugar, it weakens our body's innate immune system. And so when that happens, now these cancer cells will start to grow without being checked, keep being kept in check by our body's natural immune response. Another thing that sugar does, and most people don't know, know about, is the, the, the average amount of sugar in one can of, let's say, Coca-Cola, it's probably nine or 10 teaspoons of sugar in there. That's enough sugar to effectively shut down a minimum of 50% of your immune system for four hours. One 12 ounce Coke. If you're a cancer patient, can you afford that? Since the immune system is the only thing that can heal you, we simply can't afford that. No doctor has ever healed anyone of anything in the history of the world. The human immune system heals, and that's the only thing that heals. To overcome cancer, to stop it before it begins, or to reverse it once you've contracted it, I'm pretty much convinced the immune system is going to have to be a major player. Your immune system is really the only thing that stands between you and all those things in you, on you, and around you trying to get you all the time. So a cancer patient may have the best immune system according to white blood cells, T, T cells, lymphocytes, natural killer cells, but is that immune system recognizing and able to penetrate a cancer stem cell? That's the question. The immune system is powerful. It's the first line of defense that we have against bacteria, viruses, pathogens, and cancer cells. And what a lot of people don't realize is that the immune system is powerful. It has over hundreds of functions in the body, and there are billions, billions of immune cells at your disposal every day. Without nutrition, you're fighting with no weapons. Without your immune system, you're fighting with no army. So a lot of times you can give chemotherapy, the tumor goes away, but you also destroy the immune system, then the cancer comes back with a vengeance. That's how you get rid of cancer, through your immune system, through systems that are already within you that have failed. So what we have to do is get them to work again. And, and, and that difference has made a tremendous difference in the results. And there's so many things that go wrong. It's amazing that we survive it all, but that's a testament to the creator, you know, that we've been created to withstand so much assault. Mm. But we have a limit. And that limit, of course, is when the toxins overwhelm our ability to deal with them, the accumulation can no longer be held in check. Then we have that dysregulation and these cells proliferate and our immune system no longer has the strength and integrity 
to be that barrier, to fight it off, to keep it in check. That you could be swimming in bugs. In fact, sitting in this room right here, how many bugs do you think are in the air in this massive hotel and this and the carpeting? And, and if you live on a farm and you're going out and petting animals and, and all of that, you are not succumbing to all of these viruses and bacteria that are around you. If you are healthy from the inside out and your immune system does what, it's, it, what it was God intended it to do and what we were humanly designed to be. You know, I lost my parents to cancer and it really literally devastated me for a long time. But it's because of that story, it's because of what happened to me that inspired me to write the books on cancer and to do this research. And now to do this series, the quest for the cures continues.